Hello, I'm Larray. That's Noah. This is Eric. What's, What's up, guys? guys? Air Rock. Jinx. You owe me a soda. Air Rock. Air Rock. Air Rock. Yeah. Hey, that's your real name. My real name is Eric. Okay. Um, but when I was like 14 and I was opening an Instagram account, I couldn't get Eric. Mm. So I spelled it out like that. Mm. Um, it's kind of a lifelong curse. Yeah, it's just here now. It's I can't there. really change it. May we ask your last okay, name? Okay, that's cool. My last name is Decker. Eric Decker, like the like the football player. That's Caucasian as fuck. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Wow. So fucking white. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's Caucasian as Noah Beck. Noah Beck's pretty white. Yeah. That's as white as it gets. Yeah. That's like all American boy right there. Jesus. Beck's German. Is it? Yeah. Beck. Hmm. Can you speak some German for us? <laughs> yeah, give us some lines. No, I'm not saying I, like, I can't. No, no, I'm not no. good. Nine? I, Nine. Nine. <laughs> uh, that would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah. Speak some German. Nine. It's okay. <laughs> well, lovely Eric here. Is it Iraq? Fuck. How do you prefer Iraq? Yeah. Yeah. How do you prefer? Well, how do you prefer? You just call me Eric. Eric. Okay. Yeah. We're going with Eric. Okay, Eric. Eric. Yep. I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Hey, we've already. Yeah. We. Yeah. You and I know each other. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Let's talk about it. How? Let me see your POV. What was your first impression on me when you saw me? When I saw you? Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty much what I thought. No. Um. <laughs> I don't, I honestly, I didn't think that you were going to put up much of a fight. You didn't think so? I really didn't. I really you didn't. weak? Well, you, you, you were pretty bedazzled out and everything. I mean, you have a, a sense of style that I just don't, is really what I mean by yeah. that. But <laughs> it didn't seem like you're like here to get like for the frame and get on mm. video. But it's like, well, I'm not going to like stay here for a long time, but that's, yeah. I don't think that's what happened. Yeah. Well, it there's... actually happened in reverse. I was there to win. Yeah. And that didn't happen and at you all. Didn't get even close. Not even far. close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you know what's crazy in, is that but... people thought I was like the, um, I guess the underdog. Like they didn't expect me to last out yeah. long in the hiding. Let's give Noah some context because he looks so confused oh, yeah. here. Yeah, so, um, well, I'm just listening as a consumer because I'm just thinking as like, what are, would our fans understand what you guys are talking yeah, about? Yeah. What should tell? What should tell? Yeah. Um. So me and Eric were in Mr. Beast Creator Games, which mm. was like Figured. hiding kinda, a seat got that. for a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. She was fucking crazy. It was at the SoFi Stadium. Um. I personally thought I was going to lose in the first 10 seconds of the round just yeah. because asthma, you know, gets the best of you sometimes. Well, you're hiding. Yeah. And I'm also, <laughs> well, also there's a lot of running, uh, a lot of running. Well, did you not run? I mean, there wasn't that much was running. Was it tag or hiding? Wait, then maybe that's why you didn't win as far as I did. Cause I was All running right. for my life. All right. Um, but basically I was running, dodging, jumping into events. I hid into the entire, like, there was this cut inside mm -hmm. the stadium mm -hmm. where it was like an attic uh -huh. and it was literally like inside the stadium. So yeah. like you, to find me, you would have to literally crawl into the space to jump down, to climb up to this thing. To God to your bed. hiding spot. Oh, for sure. You would yeah. never find me. Yeah. Um, it was on the second level. And this you, was, you're skipping a lot though. Uh, so there was a whole half day of different challenges okay, true. that got it down to what? Five people, Point. seven people. Yeah. Okay. And so I got out during that part. I didn't even, I didn't even win an effing challenge, oh. but you got hand selected from the gods by Mr. Logan Paul. I did. To continue, you didn't have to win anything. At all. At all, you just gifted like that. You know that. why he chose me? Why? Because I said I'm gay. He had no choice. I don't know if they included that, but that's facts. That I is, that happen. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. He does that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if It that, works in the best no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. then I lost, left, and then you guys win did this. What challenge did you lose? All of them. I didn't win, you had to win one challenge to con oh. continue. I lost all of the challenges. I'm sorry. Yeah, same. Mm. It was horrible. Damn, that does suck. I was actually pretty sad on the way home. I really wanted. Were you actually like beat Yeah, about I it? really was. I'm sorry. It's kind of like, cause I've already, I've already lost, I lost like half a million dollars on mm. another challenge and then I lost, I've lost like $1.5 million to Damn. Jimmy's challenges. Yeah. Damn, then he's just like, he's just taking all your money. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But continue. No it's, it's, no, it's actually so crazy. I remember you were trying like actually so fucking hard. Yeah. Like you were putting effort in. Yeah, I was. I was not joking. I was actually getting pretty upset at the end of the day. I don't know. If, I'm pretty competitive. I, I can tell. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. He's looking at me nice. He's like, well. you didn't deserve shit. Who likes losing? You know? Yeah. Oh my God. So wow. it was like fun and stuff at the beginning of the day, but towards the end. It was like hell. Yeah. Like yeah. no one wanted each other to win anymore. There was no good spirit. It was just like hoping for everyone's downfall kind of at the end. Agree so to disagree. Y met. No, nice. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, me just chilling, winning the first challenge, didn't have to do a single challenge, and then being able to do hide and go seek mm -hmm. wasn't fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, I did end up being the last. What were these challenges like? Like, um, how, how, in what ways was he putting an effort? Like, like, uh, like one was like the first person to find the box of a million dollars in the stadium. Mm -hmm. So we, everyone was just crap. running around That's to crazy. find this giant box. How big was this box? It was, it, was, huge. it was huge, but oh. the stadium's like the largest stadium in the world. Yeah. Also, it's, so it's there's that. one was like a talent show. One was a talent show. Did you do that? I did. What'd Remember, you do? I spun a laptop on my finger. 
I that's hard. That. I love that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That was good. Um, I was shocked. Dr. Phil didn't think so, unfortunately. He's also Dr. Like, Phil was a judge. He was, was a, judge. a judge. And he did a phenomenal job, too, by the way. Yeah. Can you imagine the most 70 Mr. years Beast old? Thing ever. And he's pulled. not 70. Yes, he is. He's like 75, actually. He looks great. I look it up. Is Dr. Can you imagine being 75 years old and, and you're like that, bro, you show up like what motivates that? He's worth like $500 million. He's like 75 still shows up to stuff like that. So cool. And like, looks so good to doing it. Are you guys going to entertain until you're 75 years old like that? Probably. What's the plan? I'm feeling 90. It's a great question. Don't put me on the spot like that. I have no idea. Think about it. I can see myself doing it. Till I, I can see him entertaining till the day he dies. Mm -hmm. It's soon. Not you. Not me. I don't think. I think I think I'm. I don't know. What's I, your I end try goal? to make that deep. I, I have no idea. Like I, I was gonna be like, ah, by the age of like fifty, I want to be out on a farm with like, big like that's family. Every person's answer. Is that but, is that true? That's kind of like a scapegoat though, because it's just like then at that point it's like I just want to save up. No, it's not true. To an extent, like I, I mean, I do want to settle down, and like have like a big family eventually, but like mm. I don't know when that day will be. You know, you see like Morgan Freeman, like guys in the acting space. Still killing it. How old's Morgan Freeman? Probably like he's pushing 60. like no, probably. Doctor Phil's seventy. Morgan Freeman. Morgan like 60. Freeman's uh, at least at least he's got to be like ninety or something. Eighty, a hundred. Can we get point. a fact check on that? Jesus. Like, also, like, like Will let me do Smith. It. I think, but that's different for actors though. How like old actors is and stuff Freeman? like acting to like the day you kind of like die is like yeah, because like you go now. and shoot for like two months okay. and then you're like chilling for a while. Locking yeah. your final votes of Morgan Freeman. How old he is? He's got to be 90, dude. He looks at least 73, 73. In the best way. 90 and 73? <laughs> yeah. What do you, what's, okay, you can't bet. I'm guessing 84. Wait. <laughs> he's 84. <laughs> There's Wait, no won? way Who's he's closer? 84 and still pushing. That's crazy. He's, I love that icon. for him. He's a, actually, he is an icon. He is he's an been icon. around for so long. Same oh with Dr. God. Phil, though, but in a different way. Yeah. Definitely in a different way. But Dr. Phil's just like legendary. You really can't take that from him. No. Mm can't believe I met him. Like, can't believe we saw him in real life. I know. I used to watch him every day after school. It's pretty crazy. So, wait, wait, wait. So, how long were you there at the stadium? Um, so I left after, like, 14 hours. I was there till the next Jesus. day at 7 in the morning. Yeah. Wow. And I was Until 7 I, in the it was, morning? That's yes. like, that's, it was, like, 24 hours because we got there, like, 6 or 7 oh, the day wow. before. Um, I hid in the best place ever. Let me give you context. Fell okay. asleep, right? I get a call from my manager. He's like, it's only you and Matt King. Is Matt King his name, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's only you, it you, it's only you and Matt King. Wake up right now. They're calling on the Zach radio. King. Oh, Zach King. Fuck. Sorry, Zach. Oh, okay. Jesus. It's embarrassing. Um, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I jumped down. And I just started sprinting, sprinting. And then I get to this corner and I see Jimmy and them. And I just like freak out. I'm like, what uh. the fuck do I do? I just woke up. Like no one, like, I don't know what to do. And I walk out. And then I guess Jimmy's manager, she comes and she's like, and I go, there's no way. She goes, go upstairs. I go, okay, bet. I go upstairs. And I thought she was trying to help me. I was like, oh, she's going. I'm going to give this bitch $1,000. Like, I nice. swear to God. Nice. And then I'm upstairs. Chill up. Like, okay, I'm good. I look to my left. I see cameras coming at me. I go, there's no way. And then Jimmy walks up. He goes, damn, you could have just went home, huh? I go, what? <laughs> like, how do you just, after hiding for so long, you the first thing you can't tell me is like, you should have just went home. Wow. Last one standing, and I just lost like that because I fell asleep. Can I tell you something that will make you feel better? Please. Um, I recently did a little thing with Zach mm -hmm. to win back some of the money because he had to give it all away, right? Okay. Um, and so I won back $50,000, gave it away, but he had to give away the all million dollars, mm -hmm. but he had to pay taxes on that money, oh. and none of that money could be used in production cost. Oh. So we had to make the entire video about him giving away the money, so he actually lost money. He probably lost like 100 k by winning the million dollars. You always got my back. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Wow. That should make you feel right, better. Well, I'm not that, I'm not that mad anymore, y'all. Yeah. Only, only get Jimmy could get, uh, Jimmy as in Mr. Beast, could get creators and influencers that are this big in a room for 24 hours doing like, Yeah. it's crazy. Who else could make like, you no stay one, up No one agrees to that. Like, I, I feel like, I just feel like just because it's fun, I would probably do it for almost like, like, not even just Jimmy, probably like Logan Paul or like uh -huh. even you. you. Yeah. 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 I remember I tried to do a little hide and go seek thing with you did. me. Yeah. Like I had like creators show up too and they just came just for the fuck of it because it's fun. Yeah. But um, also like I met so many new friends. Even if I wasn't supposed to do hide and go seek, I have a great experience. Well, I guess that's a totally different story of having like, like you and I or even like inviting 
our close friends, you know, and being like, hey, like I'm friends with a lot of like big influencers that love YouTube and like we'll do this. Like I'm gonna invite them. Whereas he just, just like he didn't. Yeah, have you even met him before? No, but we talked on Twitter, so I'll, it, it's just like, crazy. Like it is. yeah, like it is such a difference between like I'm gonna get my close friends that just happen to be big creators, and we're gonna do this video as opposed to just so inviting. It's just like Mr. Beast. Yeah. So you know, everyone just wants does. to see yeah, Mr. Yeah, Beast yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. What also like I thought that was crazy because I feel like I don't know about I feel like you guys had the same thing, but like the come up was on during the pandemic, mm -hmm. like my come up, and probably for you guys too it was a huge yeah. opportunity. Oh my god. Um. So like a lot of these people, even even you guys, um. Like, I've never met these people before. Like, we've interacted, but it's been yeah. pandemic for two years. Yeah. And we've never met. So that was, like, one of those opportunities where you meet these people for the first time, 100%. even though you, like, know who they are. Mm -hmm. And like, you're technically in the same circles. Mm -hmm. And I feel like during the pandemic, we all, like, kind of, like, came together. Like, uh, so many random creators. Like, I became friends with so many gamers through the mm -hmm. pandemic. Didn't think that would ever happen. Mm -hmm. And I guess vice versa for you, like, coming becoming friends with gamers and TikTokers and shit. And then, obviously, like, things like Mr. Beast or, like, events happen. Yeah. Now that's over. And it's like, hey, Quackity, how are you, buddy? Like, yeah. it's just, it's so dope. Yeah. It's really weird to think about that you blew up during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. How did you blow up exactly? Like, what started your entire thing? Um, well, uh, <laughs> the first thing I did was uh, I, had, I, I did this thing. Yeah. I don't know why, but I like, sin, yeah, sure. Since I was like, I don't know, probably 17 or something. Mm -hmm. I like always like snuck into stuff. I just thought it was fun. I don't know why, okay. but like, he, like there's like a music festival happening. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've like never paid for a ticket to a music festival. Are you one of those videos where it's like GoPro guy jumping over That's the fucking fence? That's me. I'm the guy. Yeah. I feel like I've probably seen one. Yeah. Hell there's yeah. no way I haven't. Yeah. 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 Lollapalooza or some shit. Of course. Oh, yeah. Always. It was you. So it's like. Sports games? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, so I snuck into the Super Bowl at SoFi. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say. I, I've seen you yeah. like that's crazy. Yeah, that was you. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah Yeah, so that was a <laughs> fan like so, that, was, that was sick. Like yeah. that was so cool. You yeah, so I snuck into uh, <laughs> I snuck into Jake Paul's first fight with oh, nice. Nissan I remember Gibb. that too. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I did that uh, And then I snuck into uh, that video like popped off like I went from like zero to like 20k subscribers or something and that was like insane yeah that started it yeah, yeah that started that started crazy. like the momentum and then somebody told me that dan bilzerian mm -hmm. was hosting a valentine's day party um <laughs> in la i'm going so, yeah of course I'm like, I'm like the sneaking guy now yeah. so i freaking buy a ticket to la and i just pull up the day of his party it's like 20k a ticket to get into this party twenty thousand oh. dollars a ticket to get in nobody's getting in david yeah. dobrik is waiting outside the gate getting told no yeah by like the guys like nobody's getting into this party it's right. like a five girl to one guy ratio type yeah. of vibe but uh i classic sneak dance. in early uh with a fake uh like ignite t-shirt on mm -hmm. and then i hide in dan bilzerian's bushes for like five hours and then the party starts and i get out the bushes and i just party the night away at Wait, dan bilzerian's house did, uh, elaborate how, how did you how, get how, in how, no how did you bring a camera in there? Like, what, what, did, what did your videographer come in with I, you? I was, I was a fake a videographer. I'm oh, a videographer. you did it yourself? Well, I said, oh. like, hey, I'm an Ignite videographer. I'm here to, like, record. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh God, and so I made, like, a fake, it. like... I love it. Yeah, it's a little scary. What's your sign? Uh, I gotta know uh, now. He was asking me this. I don't want to tell you because well, you're going to look at me different. Now I know that you're a manipulative man. I gotta I'm, know who I'm, I'm talking to. I was to. born in uh, January, which means that I oh, am a Capricorn. Zero reaction. Okay. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I don't know what that are means. Are you going to manipulate me? No. Okay. I wouldn't don't do gaslight that. me, please. I would not do that. I'm fascinated. I like, are you, uh, what? So you want to hear the, the Dan Bilzerian thing's pretty crazy. I want to hear it. Okay. So I, so I record that video. I have okay. 20,000 subscribers. I post it. Okay. Video goes crazy. It's the, like the video that you just recorded of yourself, like sneaking into the party and everything. I edit the video. I'm you like, like, kept them updated too. Guys, I'm in the bushes. Like, yes, this whole of thing. course. It's all recorded. Oh, that's crazy. The whole thing. Watching it after. Edit together. People, people walk by, they hear the bushes talking. They're like, <laughs> dude, I was asleep. I just <laughs> fell asleep for like three hours. I get up, go to the party, record the whole thing. Go back home, edit the video, post the video. I don't know if you guys remember like your first video to pop. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't even have to be a lot of views and it's just like the craziest dopamine rush you've like ever had in yeah. your life. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. No? Yeah. Fully. I think. You do? Yeah. Yeah. He gets it. Was, it. He's more of a it. YouTuber I couldn't I sleep for like two days. I was just watching the real time views just like. And it just feels so insane. It was not dude, it was like your life is literally changing in that You wake moment. up the next morning, you feel so good. You're like, can't wait to yeah. the video. Yeah. So I was having the best time and then. 24 hours later, I get an email with like a document from a lawyer that's like, 
you got to take the video down in the next three days. We've already reported you to the local authorities. I start getting calls from LAPD detective department of like bulk burglary and stuff and like all this crazy stuff. Uh, the lawyer shows up to my house in Atlanta, finds my address, shows up to my house in a suit, serves me papers. You've been served. <laughs> I have three. I don't know how they found me. Don't take the papers. So fast too. Within, I have to take the video down in three days or I have to pay a quarter million dollar fine. And then all the, he's going to start like litigating and, was I have no money at the or, time. Oh, okay. No, this was a, this was like I went from like twenty to eighty thousand subscribers. Is the video private? Yeah. Can we watch it later? Yeah, of course. Uh, I need to watch that. Yeah. So anyway, that's insane. I just take the video. How down long three was the video? Later. It's probably like ten minutes or something like that. Great length. Like that's, not yeah, you getting that's, served yeah. by Dan Bozzari, and that's actually insane. That's so funny. Yeah. But like with such a risky. Okay, now I want to hear all of it. Um, obviously, you have a you have a YouTube channel, I and do. it's been going crazy, and mm-hmm. now you do. You, you don't do as much sneaking a- anymore, do you? Yeah, YouTube doesn't like the sneaking stuff. No, much. yeah. I, I, I try to do it every I once mean, in a while. Like, we did the sneaking into the Super Bowl earlier this year. It's like illegal, like whatever. Yeah, people, it's funny. <laughs> as, like, early on, you get, you just cut, YouTube's kind of like whatever. But as yeah. you get bigger, you guys have probably seen it on yeah. platforms. Like, you they, want you in, they want you to be an example for, like, young, exactly. yeah, up and coming. So, like, exactly. I've Which seen, isn't I've, bad. Like, you don't want to be constantly breaking the rules no, and setting yeah. a bad example. I, I mean, I, I think now. Your vi- like I've seen like a shift in like yeah. the content uh, in your videos for sure. Um, so let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. So obviously it's, it started. What? Like this man, How the hell? This man's in shambles. Uh, I'm in sh- like <laughs> shook. I'm shook. I'm so shook. How did like what went through your mind when you f- first started sneaking into things? Like what? What, what went through your mind when you're like I'm gonna record me breaking into Jake Paul's fight? Like yeah. Like, how did that happen for you? Like, how did there's just something like satisfying for me? I don't know what it is about like a little adrenaline rush. Yeah, Yeah. adrenaline rush, like getting into something you're not supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about that. There's just something nice about it. And then you come up with like a master plan. So, like, the plan for that one was Logan Paul (laughs) had uh, you guys like Logan Paul. Logan Paul. No, it's not. It's (laughs) fun. It's only for fun. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna do something. Do you like Prison Break? Love Prison yeah, Break. I figured. Love Prison Break. <laughs> oh that was like my favorite show as a kid, that's actually. A, that's Sounds crazy. about white. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to break into places because I like to rush. Bitch. <laughs> okay, continue. What the continue. fuck? Yeah, well, okay. So, snuck into there. And then my grand plan was like, Logan, I was a really small YouTuber at the time. So, Logan had said on one of his podcasts that he was looking for other people yeah. to like make videos with and stuff. And I was like, I'm the guy. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, <gasps> I'm the guy. You're not the guy that showed up at Logan's house. Please tell me you're not. No, well, okay. I did do that as well, but that was a separate thing. <laughs> Cameras weren't on for that one. Yeah. I remember I watched a video about this. Was well, it you? Please was, tell me it was you. I don't know if this is the same video. You showed up at his house and you were like trying to, you were trying to be his videographer or something. What was it? Tell no, me. he was trying to add people to his team. So, I showed up at Jake's thing, <laughs> snuck in had a suit on i was a fake disown reporter and then i grabbed logan was like hey i'm a reporter i need to do this like interview with you i do this whole interview with logan asking about boxing and stuff and i'm like hey man i'm not a real reporter like here's my like resume and i and uh (laughs) i don't know yeah that was was my pissed about it no 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 he was reaction like did he respect it he respected it big time yeah Yeah. we had a whole conversation about it it was awesome yeah and that was like yeah it was it was like a very wholesome conversation yeah Yeah, he's a good dude yeah Yeah. I, i think like when you break that first boundary with Logan and then like you can actually just like talk to him. Yeah. He's like very like he just loves the hustle and totally. loves the respect. Totally. And like that's cool. That yeah. like did he did he ever hit you up after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we made we made a bunch of other videos together at nice. the time. That's sick. Uh yeah. But As he uh, should, honestly. Yeah. That's yeah. dedication right there. Yeah, it was a different time. Persistence. Yep. And now you have yeah. didn't someone do the same thing to you, your friend? Not yes, the same thing we got Tyler. a tattoo. Uh, Wait. You're talking about this kid? Yeah, Max, who you just met, has a tattoo on his leg. Sub to Eric. That was his like that was his job application to work oh for God. Eric, which is like kind of terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna do mine next. Yeah. I'm gonna get a forehead tattoo, Eric. Yeah, you should. Uh, I might have to. You should get on the bandwagon. I might have to. No, are you down? For what? Oh. I spaced. It's okay. Big mistake. <laughs> We're getting tattoos on our forehead saying Eric though. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Have you ever used TikTok? I've started using it more recently. So funny. You guys are probably just like the total opposite of me. I'm like, so f- I've been so focused on like long form. You're, you, you do some, I guess both of you guys do YouTube. When did like, you, you TikTok, TikTok feels like a side project for me. You, but you also, I noticed that you do shorts and yeah. your shorts are so good. Yeah. You would demolish TikTok. 
Simply. You think so? Oh, fully. Okay, I should probably I watch the shorts into that. and I'm like, hee 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 hee. Like, you need to, like, <laughs> I, I should like, probably put more like effort into it. It's you like, really should. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. you would be great on TikTok. I don't know about Like, YouTube has felt like such a grind. Like, it's like, there's so it's much a, to understand mm -hmm. to, like, actually consistently, like, be good at YouTube. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. But, yeah, I, I feel like I'm just that. getting to a space where I can, like, focus on anything else. Like, so I what's love. Your, what's your. Sorry, do you want to go? Oh no! You take the floor, friend. Okay, I just, I just didn't want didn't to like keep moving, no. and then like I had to go back, you know. Yeah. So you said, like you're starting to kind of like finally understand, like, and there's so much work that goes into it. Like, what, what are, you, what would you say is like your keys to success in YouTube? Mm. Like for people watching that want to like do YouTube and long form content, what do you think is like, like is there a secret? formula like, yeah i mean i think it all comes like it's it's all like starts with the idea and like honestly the thumbnail these days it's like so op like you gotta focus on the thumbnail we go we like make like 10 thumbnails and like go through really? a whole process to make thumbnails yeah is the clickbait just as important like is it's the, the most it's more important than the video oh my god it's more important than the video interesting yeah like, like the video like must. doesn't matter in comparison to the thumbnail jesus because it's kind of like i mean think about it, right like there's no chance I'm going to click on a video that has like a horrible, if it's just like a black screen, but it's like the world's greatest video. Why would I, I'm not even going to watch yeah. it. You know yeah, what I mean? It doesn't even grab your attention. Yeah, exactly. It's super important. It's crazy hearing your perspective. What about, what about you guys? What do you think? I'm, I'm going in I mean, a short you are form. like on the two different side of spectrum of YouTube. Yeah. Like you kind of like, you're consistent, right? Yeah. And you have like an entire formula technically. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like, I post when I feel like it yeah or <laughs> which is kind of like sorry guys like I'll do better um and it's also like I kind of works for you. It, yeah which is so weird to see like someone yes. like you're so strategized about it yeah and I wish I was like you're what I want to be <laughs> yeah, you okay. live my dream sure but it's so much harder because just be like very structured it's very structured and I'm not a structured person I kind of want to <laughs> like you want to have a meeting after this and like teach some things yeah so, no, I'm not doing horrible I, I could learn I mean dude <laughs> what well, you guys give me some knowledge on TikTok stuff well, well I'm so intrigued. Know. How often do you post on YouTube? Once a week. What day? Mondays. What time? There's no specific time right okay, now. I would like to have a time though. That would be really okay. cool. You think that would help? Or do you yeah. think that not matter? The... Dude, imagine like, you know, like back in the day, like your favorite TV shows would like, they always come out at the same <laughs> time on the same day. Yeah. And you would get so hype. Yeah. Like imagine building that. That's so cool. Well, if you know, it, if you know that you're having a video every Monday. Yeah. Is it, is it like an editing thing? Like why don't you set a time? Like it's sometimes should, like because the, I'm not organized enough yet. Okay. It's so hard mm. to like be like that specific. Also, I don't know if I can say this. YouTube has like a program that we go through that basically is like they review our video before we post it to make sure that it doesn't like hit any guideline because we oh yeah because yeah. we hit like get hit by guidelines all the time. And, like that, yeah. and so sometimes that pushes the process a little bit, but I would like mm, to true. Yeah. They told me to do that, but I just totally thought it was BS. No, it's real. It's pretty awesome. Wow. There's like a whole team of people that are just See, watching. Here's why I'm like every time like I have conversations with like my YouTube team, they're like, do this, do this, and your videos do good. I'm like I've been doing this for three years. My videos are doing okay. Yeah. And I'm like, y'all are not, y'all don't know what you're talking about, yeah. but seeing that you're doing the, what they're telling you to do and you're doing good, maybe yeah, I should start this. Yeah, something to it, bro. Jesus, that's crazy. Wait, so if you're posting Monday, which date, like, do you have set filming days? We film in um, batches, actually. So, like, I'll shoot for a week straight mm -hmm. and just shoot every day. Jesus. And then you yeah. make out content for, like, the whole month? Yeah, exactly. And then so, when do you hang out? Sick. Like, I really like that. You have, like, three weeks off if you do that. You know what I mean? You're a genius. I shoot for a week and then I just like, like right now I'm on like break technically, you know? Nice. But yeah, everybody's like, like we're working on future videos. But and then how many editors do you have? Four, I think. And what how does that process work? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, because I, I have a person who keyframes for me. Keyframes? Yeah. And like, they pick, the like they pick the good stuff? Like I'll, I'll cut out my video, yeah. send them the video that I, what I want in the video, and they'll keyframe uh -huh. it and then they'll send it back to me and I'll edit it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just because um, we'll, I'll usually like outline the whole video creatively mm -hmm. and then give them the footage and then we'll have a conversation about like what the video should look like. Mm -hmm. And then we go through like three rounds of revisions to like make over? it like, perfect. Yeah, I do voiceovers. I actually have a friend, Mac, who's in the videos as well. He's super funny and he'll like voice it over for me beforehand and then I'll just like copy what he says kind of. You're just, That's you're going to cool. be the next Mr. Beast. We're, we're, we're pushing for it. I, 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 I do, you seem so fun. It's like a little yeah. game. You know what I mean? And I love the way your brain is and you just seem so like passionate about it right now it's i'm like fired crazy. up i love it it's the oh best thing God, ever so i've been wanting to do youtube since i was in fifth grade really so this is like there's nothing better like yeah li i'm like living out living my dream, dream. Doing no, fully this. you're living your dream and what about you guys do you guys want to do this did you want to do this mm -mm. do you want to do this yeah i was a fan of youtubers for like mm -mm. since yeah. i was a baby <laughs> yeah like i used to watch o2l i went to vicon as a fan like six times uh, yeah and here i am just like going to vicon this year just because like even there everyone's like you outgrew it i'm like no like i grew up with it so i have to just it's like a thing so you're like a fan of the content yeah isn't it the craziest part about youtube or like the last like two years has been 
the people that you look up to end up becoming like some of your closest friends it's so weird how weird is that it's disgusting i don't like it <laughs> it's crazy because then i'm like ah, i know all about you yeah and then they're just like hey larry i'm like hey i think it's awesome weird. i it's love it cool who's your who's somebody that you looked up to that you can just text to for advice right now you're just like oh man i mean Honestly, I get a lot of advice from Jimmy, Mr. Beast. Oh, Him and I nice. talk on the phone a lot and uh, super smart guy. Mm -hmm. He's like 23 and just crushing everything. Is it's he very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. He's killing it. He's uh, he's That's pretty inspiring crazy. guy. He's literally like a baby genius. Something it's interesting crazy. about him is I like really don't believe anybody's word very much. Like I'll just like, if you tell me to do something, I'll be like, okay, like I'll yeah. take it. Take it with a Jimmy's salt. like pretty much always right. Yeah. He's like one of those guys that's just kind of always right. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty interesting. Do you call him for like, I guess like mental advice or like just like YouTube advice? Um, I think both. He's a really interesting guy mm -hmm. outside of YouTube. Uh, so I would, yeah, he's like a close friend, but he is also a genius at YouTube. Yeah. But yeah it's a little bit of both damn you have anybody like that i would say the only person i really asked for advice like i guess mentally was uh -huh. emma chamberlain just because yeah. we kind of like grew up the same way on youtube uh -huh. and she every like, i'll be like hey what you doing no response i'll be like hey i'm down she'll respond in the quickness and give me like the best life advice ever that's amazing so, she's, she's like great. an old soul yeah and she's so smart when it comes to this stuff it's really nice to have somebody that's been through everything i'm going through mm -hmm. and can relate to it and then mm -hmm. just give me like the best mental advice ever What's the long term goal for you? Like, where, my long term goal? Yeah, do you just, are you just like an entertainer at heart? Like, you just want to always. Entertain? Yeah, I've always wanted to be in this type of business. Yeah. Um, I, I, I put my like, I'm such a weird soul, like soul. Yeah, I can do everything I put my mind to: mm -hmm. music, videos, acting, yeah. like just anything I really want to do. So I kind of just want to keep doing everything until I feel like I'm in a place where I'm just like, okay, I've done it all, and I yeah. want to just hang out and show up my family. But right now, I don't see one. I don't even think I have one yet. Yeah just weird because everyone but, has one no but that's the thing though i don't think you should have to like know what that end goal is right now if you do great yeah. if you don't it's like you're young like you shouldn't like you shouldn't have it all figured yeah, out 100%. i think we're all doing how old are you i'm 25 25 yeah. okay what do you do you have it figured out like do you know what you want to no, do? no i don't think so i don't think there's any like solid answer to that i'm just so interested in like everyone's i feel like so many people do this for different reasons too right. mm -hmm. but what's your reasoning um to be honest, I feel like I feel so, like I've wanted to do this yeah. for my entire life, mm -hmm. you know? And so I feel so like crazy blessed to be able to do this yeah. that it's almost like I've been given such an opportunity that so many people on planet Earth want. Yeah. It's like I better take advantage of the opportunity, 100%. you know? I like genuinely fires me up, you know? Yeah. That's <sighs> a dope way to think about it. Just because like, I mean, like you said, with the pandemic happening and everything, like I feel like that kind of lit a fire under everyone's ass and was like, all right, well, you can sit here and kind of just like sulk and be yeah. like, all right, well, we don't know when this is going to come back. Like it affected my job, but like, I don't know what to do now. And I feel like a lot of people were like, well, the only, th one of the only things to one, not be affected by the pandemic, but actually like numbers increased everything. Like the only thing yeah. that was like, benefited by the pandemic was social media like uh -huh. everyone was at home on their phone bored didn't know what to do um and so the people that wanted to be an influencer the people that started making content like they saw that it started to work out for them and i kind of i blew up during pandemic that yeah. was like I, I didn't post on social media at all bef before pandemic like before two years ago and literally i just started out with like just posting for fun i was bored and i just was just posting fun things that i would see like other kids my age posting on tiktok and then it was just, like with no intention of like no this intention being a thing. I, I literally was just bored and i kind of just started incorporating into my schedule of like because i went to um i played one year of college um i played soccer my whole life and oh that's yeah all i wanted to do was go pro in soccer um and with that being said i played my freshman year had a great year spring hit then pandemic hit uh -huh. and so i got sent back home and i live in arizona so i was back in arizona could only train for so long out of the day until my body just was just tired and uh -huh. i didn't want to overwork it could only do so much online school and then it got to a point where i was like all right well i finished school and i finished like working out for the day well, what do i do now because i like we were in lockdown i couldn't hang out with my friends or anything like that and so i was just like i have this app called tiktok i was like might as well just post some videos like who cares i'm not gonna like 
I'm not gonna go out in public and people are gonna like see me and like judge me, you know? And so I was like, I'll just make some right now. So I did. And then that night I posted, I posted two TikToks and then the next morning didn't think anything of it, opened my app and I had like 20,000 followers. And I was like, what the, like, I, I didn't know what to think. And That's it kinda, crazy. Yeah, it caught me off guard and I was like, uh, and I kind of like put it off to the side for a little. I was like, I don't want this to distract me. Cause like, I, you never know. No one knew when COVID was gonna just disappear. No yeah. one knew when like life is gonna go back to normal. So I was like, I'm just gonna stay ready, wait for that call back from my college, be like, all right, we're back. Like, soccer starts now, and like I was just waiting for that. And then um, followers just kept like, I, and then I got back to a point where I was like, I'll keep making them. Like that was kind of fun. Like all that attention for a sec, and I was like, like yeah, like you said, like that dopamine feeling of yeah. like wow people are liking my video people are commenting nice things and then i just kept doing it and doing it and then followers just kept growing and then i reached out to, or some people from la reached out to me and was like come check it out came and checked it out and now we're here it's kind of crazy how it all kind of happened what about like all right so you weren't you weren't like fired up about social media at first but no you had something in you where you're like i want to be a professional soccer yeah. player what is that like where do you think that comes from that came from my dad being like my co my dad is a soccer coach and he coached me growing up like he coached this local high this local high school team uh that I actually went to high school for 2 years at and i mean he he's been coaching them for like 25 years now yeah. and so when i was like 7 8 years old i would go train with them just like after school would go train with his high school team and like that kind of forced me to develop early, like a seven, eight year old, like training with high school players. And it was yeah. just like, it was fun. Like, I don't know. I just always loved soccer. Like I had this passion for, for it. And like, it's all I ever wanted to do. I didn't really have a backup plan. Like my parents are both teachers as well. Uh -huh. So education school was important. So I had to stay in all that, but I mean, I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then, yeah, when I started doing this, it was just like, had to make a decision. And like, I kind of, the hardest thing was kind of to leave soccer for this because it's like your main passion yeah it was my main yeah. passion and I, but the the reason that like i did was because i never knew when soccer was going to come back i didn't like obviously we're still dealing with stuff with like covid and all that so yeah. like i mean i just wanted to take advantage of like what i had in front of me and like mm -hmm. i couldn't like for really, sure it, soccer will always be there I but guess to to to, to, I mean, a until you like you know exactly older, it's still, for sure it's still there but yeah but I think it just got to a point where I was like this opportunity is just too good to pass up yeah. and like I don't I mean I don't ever want to get to a point where I regret not doing it yeah. and so I was like I'll try it out come out to LA for a little and if I don't like it just go back home come back home I'm and glad you like soccer. it and here you are now here I am and yeah. I love it and I've grown to love it you know I, it didn't start out with me I was like oh my god I'm living my dream like. Like, I didn't dream about doing this when yeah. I was in fifth grade like you. I, I kind of would just, in a sense, kind of, like, doing what Larry's doing in, in terms of, like, just wanting to do everything, kind of dip my feet in everything and just figure out, like, what makes me happy. Yeah. And I think long-term for me, and long-term meaning, like, the next few years and just seeing how it goes, like, I want to act. And, like, I want to do... It's interesting because you talked about, like the, like, the batching and all that stuff and having, yeah. like... I guess with movies, it's kind of the same thing because you're filming for two to six months mm -hmm. out of the year yeah. and then you have the rest of the time to rest. Yeah. Or, and it's kind of interesting because you're doing a week of filming and then you have three weeks to rest. Mm -hmm. And then it, it's just, yeah, I Speed. think it's just a bigger version of that. Where You, you didn't want to act though before. I didn't want to act, but I've always had a love for movies. Like mm -hmm. I've always loved the idea of movies. I just never thought I would, I mean, living in Arizona, playing soccer my whole life, like I never thought I would be in a position to be like, I want to be an actor yeah, you know yeah. like I, it just never came to me and now that like i'm here in la you have the opportunity and i'm like i mean i feel like i mean i'm with an agency that specializes in this stuff so i'm like you know they have a they have a movie division mm -hmm. over in the agency like, let me talk to them about it and i talked to them and they're like yeah we can get you auditions and i've been doing self-tapes auditions going to acting classes for like over a year now and just booked my first role. Let's go. Yeah, I'm stoked. That's sick. Stoked. Start filming August. Dang. So it's kind How of do you up. feel? Are you? It's exciting. It's nerve wracking because I I don't want it to ever be a point. I don't want it to get to a point where people are like, 
oh my god he only got this role because of his following like yeah. i want people that don't know me to watch it and be like you feel like that pushes you to be better like yeah. practice yeah. more <clears throat> oh my god yeah well that's the thing like growing up an athlete i think it just growing up with like an athletic background kind of translates over to everything yeah. like I, I just want to constantly work like i feel like i'm very coachable that's what i'm asking though because like you have that you have that where does that come from i have i don't know where it comes from like i don't did know you, you didn't play sports growing up i did play sports but okay. I, but i don't know where like you have like this willingness to win yeah like, thing that you keep talking about like what is that do you, I should, don't do you know. think it's just there i think i think people like, yeah, i don't know from a tough spot yeah and you just like you were like all right i'm not gonna do this and just figured it out like what is that i mean i guess my will is just kind of like i don't ever want to be where i was when i was growing up yeah and i just want to always like because I've been in the lowest of lows and I just always appreciate everything. Yeah. And it makes me want to just keep wanting more and keep doing better just so yeah. I can like provide for my family. Because I'm not only providing for myself, I have to provide for everyone that I grew up with just yeah. because that's they raised me, I have to raise them. But for you, well, I was thinking you have such like the mentality of like a, not even like a, like a boy, like you're just always full fours. If you like something, if you want to do it, you're going to fucking do it. And I like kind of like can see that in your eyes that you're so passionate about acting and the way like literally when i met him he was talking about how like he wanted to start acting and the fact mm. that you booked this deal or like this role is yeah. insane acting class is no joke yeah that shit is hell acting's hard <laughs> it's so hard and it's, you booked such yeah. a good role so it's like go off honestly thank you like my acting coach was like telling me like crawl on all fours and i'm like what excuse me like <laughs> like no i'm gonna look stupid doing that and she's like just i know she would make me do the weirdest stuff she's like are you comfortable now and i'm like not really but like i'll do what you ask yeah. and like i had to do random things are like, you with other people yeah yeah i've done classes where i'm with other people and then i did one-on-one -on -one classes with uh, a lady that was amazing and she brought in her daughter who's around my age and like i have a girlfriend you know and but it, it's acting and she was like you two don't say a word to each other don't meet or anything like that sit down crisscross applesauce stare into each other's eyes for 60 seconds and like don't say a word it was the weirdest thing like i was just like imagine doing that yeah. and it was like those little exercises and then we did like then i would practice like scenes with her and it'd be feel like i knew her and yeah. it'd feel like so different than wow. like, it was weird and like, after just, doing that exercise after doing that exercise just little ways wow, to just crazy. break people's like that's crazy this this stigma of like oh my god like i, I don't even know her like yeah. she's my acting coach's daughter like i don't i don't want to like look stupid in front of her but it was just like and then i would see and i would i don't know it was just great to see because she was a great actress as well and like you could see it was very evident that like she didn't care what other people thought as well mm -hmm. like she would just go and do it and yeah. it was just like fuck it we're acting you know like who cares yeah and so eric how did you grow up i'm very curious <laughs> uh i grew up in uh, uh forsyth county georgia just mm -hmm. in the, just the middle of the woods oh not old town road old town Jesus. actually yeah it's like it's not far from where homeboys from but yeah just in the middle of the woods just like like full-on like i'm talking like appalachian mountains oh just like trees woods okay. everywhere how was high school for you um i don't know dude high school was weird man i was like i was like uh I feel like at that time I was like an I was just so invested in the internet and like yeah. internet culture. I feel like high school was like uh uh I don't know. I definitely wasn't like the popular kid. I was okay. definitely like consumed in like, by, like the, the internet. internet and stuff. Yeah, like who was the, the uh, when you were in high school, who was like the YouTubers at the time or like Viners or just TikTokers? Was it like Mad Con Boys or like PewDiePie? Madcon like, was like, like yeah vine and that was like your was time really big yeah vine mm -hmm. vine was king like a thing. Botch. that was more like when i was like in eighth grade or something like that but yeah king batch like they were just destroying everybody. you remember like oh man there were so many marcus johns i remember like mm -hmm. he was like the biggest viner at the time yes. like all that stuff was huge <laughs> zach king was like zach huge king, he biggest. was beyond huge dude you know what's crazy i talked to him recently about the vine stuff too and he said the same thing of like I was just so scared that this was a wave mm -hmm. and so i would just like he just was going crazy it's just weird to think about like so many people have already been through the cycle that we're in mm -hmm. and like had the exact same feelings and thoughts around yeah. like how to take advantage of the opportunity. But uh, yeah, I was just, I was I'm literally from the country mm -hmm. and just watched all these YouTubers. Honestly though, dude, I feel like watching people on YouTube and watching people on the internet was so inspiring for me because I was from this like st stupid small town Yeah. Um, where like there's not a lot to aspire towards. Everyone's but you see people on the internet doing it and you're like, oh wow, like some other yeah. person out there did that. And it's like, 
I don't know, opens up the can of worms of possibilities, you know? Because yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's interesting you said it. Because I feel like, especially, I mean, from Phoenix, Arizona, not like a small town yeah. at all, but like, I could definitely see that being a thing. Because there is times in life where like, you kind of just feel like you're living. And yeah. you're kind of just like floating and it's just like every day is just kind of like very routine. And yeah. especially when you're in school, yeah. waking up, going to school, yeah. playing every a sport, day. homework, go yeah. to bed, yeah. wake up, do the same thing. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people, I'm not saying when you're in high school, like do better, you know, like dream bigger. Like you're in high school, you don't, not supposed to have it figured out. Yeah. But I feel like that's a problem that a lot of people come across is like the feeling of being like complacent and like not, I mean... I'm a big believer in like just dream big, like mm-hmm. yeah, do it, you know, like uh, who cares? What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, exactly, and like I feel like a lot of people, especially if you're from like a small town, can get very complacent and they can get very like Content. comfortable. Yeah. yeah, and they're yeah. like, I don't mind this life, and you know. And then yeah. you see but people also, online, and you're like, some people may never like see these people online and may never like get to experience yeah. the life that they live and be like, man, I want to create. And like, they just don't know where to start. Exactly. Yeah. And like, I feel like the people that put in that extra research, put in like that extra sacrifice mm-hmm. are the ones that actually make it out because a lot of people are afraid to like take that jump. And yeah. Like, and I think it's cool. Like these were the type of like interview, like podcast interviews that I like to hear when I was like doing that too. Cause I feel like a lot of times, like it's our job yeah. to make this look like super easy yeah. and like nothing's like, hard at all and we like don't care and like oop this happened accidentally Mm -hmm. you know but like i don't know it's cool to hear you too like both of you guys talk about a lot of people trying to make this happen you know yeah and like the um living like such a small town or just like a normal life you kind of just see people like us and just be like oh like they woke up famous yeah yeah. like they woke up with followers yeah but not like realizing that like literally it took us all the same amount of like just goal and just like more so like the (laughs) jump we had to take and the risk is just, just to be here mm-hmm. and people just watching us be like oh like i can't do that you fully can do you it you fully can you fully can do it it's like life's in like when you like realize life's in creative mode and you can like just legit just like fly. spawn stuff it's pretty crazy it's, it's, it's way really harder said than done for yeah, sure it is but i mean seeing so many people that and like growing up and watching so many youtubers and just thinking oh like they probably just woke up famous and then talking to them in real life and be like oh, wow, you really put the effort into doing this. Mm. Like, you really made it your all. Mm -hmm. And some people just get lucky. Some people actually, like, work their ass off and get here. But honestly, it's not that hard. If you just dream and, like, want to do it and you just keep going for it, it will eventually happen. I always say, like, it's, like, extremely hard to stop somebody who refuses to give up. Exactly. Like, if you just decide, like, I'm just going to do this until I'm, like, 90, it's like, what's going to happen? I don't know. I'm either going to be 90 or get there but were your parents like supportive of you wanting to be a youtuber dude they let me do whatever i feel like i was always trying to do something different like Mm -hmm. um and they were just like super supportive of that stuff like did you have siblings yeah i have a i have a younger sister did you ever film with her yeah dude always i made so many videos with her built-in collab right there like i would do content all the time with my family really loved it and like yeah it was great and it was so fun like i loved filming with my family and it was just like it was easy. People loved it. And yeah. it was very like wholesome yeah. as well. Yeah. And yeah. like, I feel, I don't know. I, I feel like it's fun when you can incorporate like your family and like they fully like didn't understand like, Hey, where's this stuff going? It's mm-hmm. like, Oh, to my million followers. And they're <laughs> like, like oh, oh, good one. Yeah. yeah. And like, they didn't really get it. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, really stops them in yeah. Walmart. And they're exactly. Like, oh my gosh. Exactly. Yeah. Pizza fi. Pizza fi. Pizza fi. A transformational liquid. Did you create this? Yeah. Is it like, sellable yeah can i buy it yeah you could buy it right now pizzafy.com it's so good yeah you could buy the three pack or the one pack which way elaborate like yeah what is it so i have a I like, so my first memory in life is eating pizza it's the first thing i ever remember happening okay it's not, I, I don't know it's, not, it's like <laughs> wait not gonna question it but yeah, yeah 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 it's like my favorite food like i eat it for every meal type mm-hmm. of thing um i did i went one month right every meal for every day and it was like the greatest month of my life so I can imagine. it's horrible for you though. You can't do that for that long. Depending. So I basically um, made this sauce. It's not really a sauce though. It's a transformational liquid <laughs> that turns any food into pizza. So yeah, it's called pizza fi tomato sauce. It's not to toma- I it's not tomato sauce. Oh, you're about to just blend, your mind at me. Just blend pizza. I like uh, explain like, to us how how this came about. It's a secret formula. It's like the Krabby Patty formula. I can't tell you. I'm so confused. Like you literally could put it on. I have it. I have. I always have a bottle with me. So I've got it. You have one on you right now. Yeah, it's in my backpack over there. If you want to grab it. You're such a silly person. You know that, right? I'm dead serious. You guys can try it if you want. 
I put it on everything. It's my favorite thing is on a burger. Can you drink it? I would not drink it, okay. but you could. I mean, you want to try, <laughs> you can. It's a sturdy-ass backpack. Oh, oh yeah, my God. Um, pizza cooler. Pie. Here. So this is Pizza Pie. Girl, that's Sriracha. This so, is not <laughs> Sriracha. So when did this, when did this like... <laughs> It Come came up you. because I wanted to eat healthier, but I mm. wanted everything to taste like pizza because it's my favorite food. So it's like I'm down to try it. You it's know, a, it's I'm like not the, against pizza. It's a condiment. It's like a okay. it's like a ketchup or a mustard or something. <gasps> pizza pie. Pizza pie. That. <laughs> wow. Honestly, that's how you know that's a good ass bottle though. You're gonna get every squirt out. All right. Let me get you a towel. <laughs> I'm sure sure. Yo, do we need a towel Honestly, or not? Sure. I'll just lick no, it no, off no, myself. No, no. Here, use this. What's so funny is that I literally... This is your sweatshirt. It's okay. Really? Yes. All right. I'll keep it. Whatever you say, <laughs> boss. Um, you don't want to leave it this on It smells though. just like pizza. Really? Because it's pizza I, so, so I went through uh, 10 trials okay. of testing different types of this sauce What's until we got to the perfect balance. When did you eat calories? When did you release this product? Uh, I recently, like, two weeks ago, and we sold it. Oh, wow. Out. Recent. Recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Salsa shit. Yeah, so we How's sold it. Out. Doing? It's great. It's tomatoes, doing great. People are fired tomatoes. up about it. It's a great um, idea. Yeah. Olive oil based, dried organic. It's Barica, good for you. Balsamic vinegar. Go, oh, my God. You know what it's starting to... You put it on anything. What That's do you, the beauty what do you, of you it. put it on, though? I... Also, like, uh, my favorite thing to do is, like, I'll just get straight, like, veggies. Oh, okay. And it's, like, a really good dipping sauce for veggies. So, like, <laughs> like just straight broccoli like celery? with this stuff. So good. You can you know, do a celery. My, immediately, my mind goes to, like, literally just putting it on, like, little Ritz crackers. Fire. Right? That would be a fire idea. You gotta smell it. You, like, sm smell also, so if you good. put it on a, uh, like, if like a burger, and you give it, like, a little pizza <gasps> zest. It literally so is pizza. Well, duh, right, it's pizza pie, right, but, like, it's good. It's, like... Put a little put a little dab on your finger. Here. Let me squirt some out for you. Let me try to make it explode on you, too. That's what she said. Yeah, okay. there you go. That's, that's good right there. Sorry. Here's his reaction, live reaction. What do you think? It's unreal. Like that's actually so good. I'm a big pizza guy as well, but uh, I'm, I, was, I literally, I mean, like, what do you? If I were being nice, I would give this to you, but I can't. It's like precious. It's like your thing. You know what I mean? No, yeah, keep yeah. it. Sorry. I'm good. So no, sorry. Sorry. Like, what you. an idea. Like that tastes exactly. It's got a little like. You got right there? It's got a good you want like some? kick no, to no, it. No, no, no. You want me to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it. It's got a good little kick to it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. a little spice to it. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. Really enjoy that. I'm trying to think of what else. Like, I feel like on spaghetti, that'd be unreal. Spaghetti would be fire. Like, like marinara, chicken, like, like chicken. Oh, like, on there. like, like chicken, chicken parm. Breast. Yeah, chicken parm, fire. You're a genius. I would yeah. never think about making some pizza sauce. It's like truff, you know, like there's that uh, right. yeah, like hot sauce yeah, brand yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. There's so many sauces coming out. I would make it. It's not transformational liquid. Can't believe you made pizza sauce. Pizza by that. It's not pizza sauce. I mean, I'm so saying that. I'm so sorry to the pizza community. Pizza, yeah. In a speaking of pizza, form. I say this in every. This is a great layup. I'm trying to get to 10 million subscribers at the end of this year. Okay. And when I do, I'm making the world's largest pizza. I'm setting the world record. How much are you at right now? Um, we're about to hit six million. Okay. Um, and we're gonna have to make the pizza is gonna be 150 feet across. That's a lot of pizza. That's a lot of pizza. Oh That's my a lot god. Of pizza. Yeah. And when according you make to it, I that, that's half a football field. Yeah, we're gonna have to build it on a football field. That's badass. Yeah, it's actually bad. Mm. Yeah, so we got a we got a pizza that. chef who's like doing the schematics for it right now. Are there any pizzas that come near that? Because I feel like that might be a little like I, I, excessive. Like, you I think I'm know. going a little overboard? Well, I don't know. I, I'm curious to know if there's any. If there, is there's there... one pizza that I think was 120 feet across. Okay, then this is necessary. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. trying to break a record. 150. Is yeah, very I gotta necessary. break the world record. Oh, it was broken should. in 2000. It was broken 10 years ago. Oh. Yeah. This is legit. Dude, people soon. think I'm joking about this, but it's it's really happening. I can get into that. You're dead ass serious. I'm I am not fucking joking. Oh, wait, creator now. What is this? Oh yeah, this is uh, What's creator now. Like we talked about. Okay. So many uh, kids like us in small towns trying to make this shit happen. Okay. You know what I mean? So creator now is basically uh, my creator boot camp. Oh, uh, that's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, Maybe awesome. a boot camp leader? I'd be so good. Yeah, you can come on in. Oh my God. So I basically have all my smart friends and I go in there and help people uh, blow up on the internet. So oh, it's been nice. really cool to watch. In what that's way? Like, is it like a subscription based thing? Like, can people. You like, do it. So you come in, you, you're in it for six weeks. You upload one video a week for six weeks. And you're in uh, workshops every week, like live mm. Q&A. Like you could ask Sick. me, or if you were in it, they would ask you like one-on-one -on -one questions. So cool. I'm like, charge your G7X. Let's go, go, go. Get your tripods. Y'all don't yeah, get it? There's discounts. <laughs> yeah. You could probably get one of those. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd be it, such a good boot camper. It, uh, Casey Neistat just did something like this. Right? Casey Neistat, yeah. So yeah. And Casey actually, I'm not going to, you know. Casey, Casey low-key invested in Creator Now. 
Wow. So he's on board now. And Sick. I just, you know, whatever he did with them, it's probably so fine, fine, but he's on board with us now, guys. I don't know yeah. what to tell you. Casey Neistat's a goat. He's, he's a huge inspiration. Oh my Actually, God. um, you got a tattoo. It's pretty more? embarrassing. I have a, uh, do more tattoo. That's not just like the Casey Neistat thing. That's and I got this that's, tattoo when I was like really a big cool. fan of Casey. Yeah. But now I'm actually a YouTuber and I haven't shown this to him. So I'm pretty embarrassed. You should. That's, that's I so like cool to help. think like, cause growing up, obviously like you had your goal mm -hmm. from fifth grade. Yeah. You've always wanted to entertain, right? Like you just want to kind of like. <laughs> an entertaining guy. You've go always dance. wanted to be go dance. I, it, yeah, go dance. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be an athlete. So like I looked up to like Cristiano Ronaldo and yeah. Neymar Messi, like all these amazing soccer players. And like, I would watch their YouTube highlights and like, they didn't have, like Ronaldo wasn't out here editing his own highlights and yeah. like putting, like people would do that for him yeah. and like get millions of views. And like, that's the stuff I would watch like before my games and stuff like that. And it's so interesting to see like, how that kind of translates over to the like creator side of it mm -hmm. and how you would watch like Casey Neistat videos and Mr. Beast videos. And it was just like motivating to you. And it's just like interesting to think because I personally, like I knew, I knew nothing about nothing. Any, nothing. You like, like came into this I, and I learned came, everything after. Everything that's after. That's so backwards. I, like, that's went, crazy. I went backwards and I was like, okay, so who's this? Like I wow. was told to like watch this. And like, I like to this day, like there are still people I meet and I'm like, I'm hey. like, offend, like, I feel like I'm offending them if I'm like, Noah, nice to meet you. What's your name? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, and I feel bad and like, I want to do my research, but at the same time, it's like, I know at the same time, I do do my research now, yeah. but like, it's just crazy. It's just like a completely different world. That There's I'm a lot. I'm imagining there. myself operating in this world, not like coming from your perspective. Right. There's so much to catch up on. So much to learn. And I'm like, yeah. Like you're, oh my god yeah, it's like it's like it's a lot but like i said like with like kind of like my mindset towards things like I, just, I want to if i do something i want to try to be not the best but like the best i can be at it yeah you know like the best i can possibly be like without completely burning myself out and i think i don't know how I, hard is that part it, it has come to a point where it is like oh my god this is exhausting you know and like for me, one of the things that I've been burnt out quite a lot with, and like I've tried to give it goes, like another go, because I want it to be a thing, yeah. and like I really want to do it. But with everything else I got going on um, in my life, and like the business side of things, like there's so many like entrepreneurial things that I don't like put on the internet, but like are just back end, you know, and like that's like long term for me. Yeah, like, I love that stuff. stuff. I love learning about like the business and like sitting in on meetings and like making these connections. But one of the things that's burnt me out quite a lot and it sucks because i really want to get good at it and like make in is youtube mm -hmm. and i it sucks because youtube is a long form thing and it is something that you can't like half-ass really yeah you can but yeah. like you're not going to get the same like output yeah. that if yeah. you half-ass like i could sit down and put a tiktok I, I i could put my phone set up a 15 second tiktok yeah and just like stand there and look at the camera and like yeah potentially get millions of views yeah. whereas like youtube it's not the same yeah, it's and, like, different so different and i i understand like i never came into it and i like, sat there on youtube and was like like did like thirst trap stuff on youtube or anything like that imagine. but imagine <laughs> that's crazy no wait shorts you low-key could not I, yeah exactly but, but but i mean with youtube long for i've always <laughs> wanted to like have a team around me like i've always wanted to like kind of make good content on youtube but yeah. it always kind of leads me I don't know. YouTube's so frustrating because you'll put so much time and effort into a video yeah. and it could flop and it's yeah. like, fuck. And I, I know you have to just shake it off and onto the next video. Like yeah. you can't really think about it much, but it's like, it's hard when you kind of, I don't know. Like there's been videos I've been like proud of and I'm like, yeah, this is a good video. I put it out and it's like 10 of 10. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. Sucks. Dude, that, that will like, destroy you. I don't the know why you made that feature. The ranking I hate it. system. It's, it's like, so I don't want to see it. And like, <laughs> I don't know. For me, I feel like people who watch me and like my fans, like I think resonate most and like want the most is like vlog type content uh -huh. and like me being like vulnerable because they see like my fun, like outgoing side on TikTok, like uh -huh. that kind of stuff. And like I'm on just about every other platform, like doing things where I'm not really interacting with the camera in like a vulnerable way. Like I'm not like talking, I'm not sitting down and like showing them like my everyday life. And I think on YouTube, I can do that. And like, I enjoy vlogging like day in the life on, on YouTube, but there's always been a side of me where I like, 
the content that you now do yeah. is like intriguing to me and i was like that'd yeah. be so fun to like get a group of people and just like have fun and just yeah. get it on camera and like i don't know i, I just think it's very interesting um, yeah it's just different i feel different. like like you know the rules to like tiktok for example like you know like the guidelines yeah. for what you need to do and it's like the same thing for youtube yeah we're like just understanding the game like the exactly rules a little bit exactly i think i know it, it kind of goes back to like what we were talking about with uh when Larry was saying that, like, some people, like, literally anyone can do it. And, like, some people may have gotten lucky. And, like, I sit here and tell myself, like, I'm very hard on myself. And, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't give myself enough credit sometimes. And I'm, like, this kind of just happened. Like, I posted a video and it kind of just blew up. And, like, here I am yeah. now, like, with yeah. doing all these amazing things, like, in fashion and all this all yeah. other stuff. But it's, like, mm. I don't realize how much, like, I sometimes don't credit myself enough. Because when I did get into even when i first started like after that twenty thousand, i pushed it off for like a week and i was like <laughs> maybe i'll come back to it and so i like started to incorporate it in my schedule like i would lock myself in my room at like 9 p.m like every night and yeah. just crank out like I, I would throughout the day i would when i have time i'd go on tiktok and be like i'm gonna save this video i'm gonna do this later but in like my way and like yeah. do it a different way at 9 p.m like y normally when you have a 19 year old kid your parents would be like why is my son locking himself in his room at 9 p.m like, what your what's, parents he, what's he doing they were chill they were so supportive but like yeah at first they were like what are you doing yeah. and like they would see like they'd see like led lights they'd see like uh, a flash and i'm like yeah dude, like, don't worry ready. about it yeah <laughs> like, why is my water bill so high exactly <laughs> like they would be like no why are you still in the shower and i'm like i got a perfectionist like i gotta keep redoing this video but like that'd be damned i i did incorporate it into my schedule <laughs> and i'd crank out like four or five videos a night just like and I know it's not hard, but like sometimes like I, I'd enjoy like the POVs and like yeah. the acting stuff and like the voiceovers. And yeah. then like every video was different. That's what I kind of like to do with like my content was just like very all over the place. Like I didn't really have like a niche. My niche was just kind of being like lifestyle and just kind of like not having a niche. But now? But now it's the same thing. Like now my like when I posted TikTok, it could be whatever. Uh -huh. It could be a dancing video of a fashion get ready with me video it could be a sports video and i feel like, the same about my youtube channel like people don't I know love what it to, to expect and it's like i, I think it's it. i think it's an advantage i think it's like Definitely. a cool thing like your audience is always like Definitely. what's next you know? exactly yeah. it's pretty cool. I, I love that part of it and it's like i know it's probably good like sometimes to like you want to have a thing where you're like the people watching your stuff know what they're gonna get yeah and it's like consistent that way yeah but it's like when you want to have fun it's with so it, so much more fun when it's when like, you want to have fun with what's it. What's gonna it's happen like, next? I know, like that's I wish best. I could consistently put out sports content because that's what I have the most fun filming. But it's like I know that stuff doesn't get as many views. Yeah. if I were to like do something that they would want to see, which is probably like a more intimate get ready with me or I mean vlogs. Type I feel stuff. like the way you you kind of have to train them in a sense and just post what you want to post and they yeah. just have to adapt to that yeah because i feel like you trying to just please them all the time is exactly gonna put you in a place where you're just like <sighs> like you said bro it's got to stay fun right exactly yeah. if you stop if, having fun you're just, it's just over exactly and with whatever i do i try to like somehow showcase like the the side of me that i think that they all like which is oh, like the personality like i try to like show my personality with whatever i do like yeah. what if i'm doing like a serious soccer video like i'm still like gonna interact with the camera a little and like do that kind of stuff rather than making it so like not me yeah the content sense. of yours that i've seen the most yeah uh it gets sent to me by my girlfriend <laughs> uh who is sending uh -oh. it to me to tell me uh how to do morning routines okay <laughs> all this she wants me to do like a whole skin routine and stuff so you kind of have this like you have this uh curse on my life where it's just this constant like you need to apply sunscreen Sorry to yourself like on yeah. a daily basis I'm yeah like, it's important it's important <laughs> why do you, who what inspired you to like is this um, like a personal thing or what is that i don't know like i want to age like fine wine you know and i feel like nice yeah and i feel like i don't want to be 30 years old and looking like 50 and like just little things that like keep me motivated to like take care of myself like i feel like health is what health is wealth yeah in, in, in a sense and i feel I genuinely feel like look good, feel good. And I, I love that motto because it's like, there's so many other things that stress me out and like frustrate me in the world. And it's like, if I know I'm taking care of myself every day, then it's like, I don't know, like how frustrated can I be at like other things? Cause it's like, at the end of the day, it's all about how I feel. And like, if I feel good physically, I'll feel good mentally. And then like vice versa, like they kind of just go hand in hand. And I feel like, I don't know, especially in this business, um, 
like with all the fashion stuff I'm doing, getting into fashion definitely kind of like lit a fire under me and was like, if I'm going to like be modeling these clothes, if I'm going to like be getting into all this, like being seen a lot on camera, like I want to, I want to look my best a lot, a lot of the time. So I'm like, I, I think I owe it to myself to kind of like take care of myself and, you know, do things like do little things to kind of like make sure I'm always looking my best. And like part of it is like, could be seen as like an insecurity thing because I genuinely feel like if I don't maintain my abs, if I like start breaking out, I'm going to lose followers. And like, mm. there's always that thing in the back yeah. of your head. And it's like, it's not a good way to think, but it is kind of like, I mean, I guess whatever motivates you to like, like take care of yourself. It's like, you feel you like need, it's like healthy motivation. Yeah. Yeah. But also unhealthy because it's like, <laughs> I don't want to ever like, uh, like I want to eat your pizza sauce and be like, damn, hopefully I don't like gain weight from this. And it's like, I, I don't think it will ever get to that, but I, I think I've figured out a pretty healthy balance of like, that's good living. I don't know. Just like a, like a good life while also just kind of, no, that's cool. Myself. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to touch on? I have nothing else for you guys. What a gift and a pleasure to be here today. Thank you so much for being here. It's great having you. Uh, I'm like, a, thank you so much for being here. A pleasure. A pleasure. I appreciate you. Honestly, though, let me have that this pizza sauce. This is pretty sauce. awesome. How's I can stay here, right? No, yeah. You can cool. sleep in that room. What do you want? The, you want the pizza sauce? I do want the pizza sauce. Can't have it. Why? You're going to have to order it, dude. Just like everybody else. How much is it? Uh, $12 <sighs> a bottle. You'll be shook when I'll I'm make one. I, I mean, I'll definitely make one. You forgot purchase. where I'm from. Yeah, I'm finna in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> my backpack's on that side of the room. Yeah. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna call it wrap because it's getting really hot in this room. And it's really hot. Yeah, I, it got I, hot out of nowhere. I started sweating fast, and I kind of <laughs> want to try the pizza sauce. So, mm -hmm. Eric, Eric, yep. yep, the third. Still pronouncing it wrong. You know what? Not hey. the third. Eric, Eric, yeah. Eric, yeah, Eric. Make sure you subscribe. Three million subscribers. These guys are opening a joint OnlyFans. Yep, we are. Subscribe to him. I want a big pizza. So. Get yeah. him to 10 million right now. Make sure you guys go check him out on all socials. And thank you guys so much for watching. Give it thank a big you. thumbs up. Thank you so much. Like it. Here. Comment. Subscribe. Turn the post, thank post you so notifications much. on. And thank you. Nice. See you guys next time. Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.